Hey there guys, today we'll be looking at a new one from Spindle Tap. just came out this weekend. This is their Hops Drop IPA. Uh, and this is a triple dry hopped with Eldorado, Moe Tueka, and Citra. Um, so can on the 10th, today's the 14th, four days old. Um, yeah, pretty excited. I had a bit of this at the uh, brewery yesterday um, for the release of this Houston Hayes and their other new um, double IPA Houston, which I'll be reviewing soon. Uh, but yeah, I'd actually like to, you know, sit down with a can in my apartment and get a really good analysis, I guess, of it. So, with all that said, well, let's check it out. So this is um, another one of their New England style IPAs. As I mentioned, just brand new released for uh, this past weekend for Juice Fest. Uh, so as you can see, um, pours out this hazy of a murky golden orange type color to it um, it's got a nice big frothy white head so looks the part it's not as hazy as um, like Houston Hayes batch 4 was um, especially comparing uh, how old this is versus um, how batch 4 Houston Hayes looked at uh, right after canning anyway uh, still pretty hazy so uh, it's got the aroma on this guy Wow, so really bright citrus, um, tropical fruit, definitely getting mango, um, navel orange. Getting almost like a lemon um, character to it as well. And I know uh, from Eldorado specifically, you know, uh, lemon is kind of a noticeable aroma or flavor. So I definitely can pick that out uh, seemingly, I would assume, from the Eldorado. Getting this almost cotton candy like aroma too it smells incredibly juicy and uh just bright overall kind of like a cotton candy grape white grape uh, getting the mango maybe hints of pineapple um lemon navel orange it's a hint grassy but nothing compared to uh maybe houston Hayes batch four um just really juicy, bright citrus, pretty clean. So check it out. Cheers. Wow, so that, <laughs> that is really tasty. First, noticing off the bat the difference here now with this IPA compared to like Houston Hayes. It has this really bright fruit character to it. And the malt character is a bit more pronounced, but more doughy. Um, I wouldn't consider it malty or in, in any sense. Just it has that really doughy, yeasty kind of character that um, you kind of find out of some of the Treehouse beers. And there are some differences, of course, in flavor. Um, the bitterness is pretty restrained. There is a hint on the back that lingers. Uh, so kind of like that because it does balance out any kind of sweetness that the beer has uh the mouthfeel is pretty awesome really soft carbonation full bodied um i wouldn't say it's quite it, it, maybe like 90 95 percent um similar to something like treehouse but not quite there um very 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 close a lot of the citrus um that tropical fruit it's not as um i didn't get as much of that cotton candy on the flavor but still a bit um, it, it just has this really unique juiciness to it um, that I don't think I've really experienced before. Yeah, it's that's crazy. Um, and being four days old, like with the last batch of Houston Hayes, it was uh, very green, very grassy, had a bit of that chalkiness, that astringency that I do enjoy. This beer doesn't have it, but it's so incredibly smooth, and it doesn't really. I don't. I don't dislike it for not having that. I mean, I. I really can't find anything wrong with the beer. It's. It's very bright and unique, and I, has. A, I don't. I don't know. It's. It's kind of throwing me for a loop here because it's. It's hard, not something I would expect out of a forty-year-old IPA, especially with how, you know, I mentioned the last best Houston Hayes came out. 
So none of that chalkiness, that astringency. Um, just very bright, um, like I said, tropical citrusy hot flavors. I, I, beer is incredibly smooth and unique, and I haven't really had anything like it. There's elements of treehouse in there, but really also elements of kind of, um, you know, what Spindle Tap's been doing. Um, it's a little bit closer to Youth and Haze as it's maybe aged for about two weeks. Um, but it doesn't have, I think Youth and Haze, for me, I know a lot of people prefer it after a two-week uh, moment. For me, I think it kind of changes in a way that I prefer it fresher. Um, but this, it tastes nothing like that. I mean, it's insane how bright and juicy this is and how drinkable it is. It almost makes you think it's going to taste like something like maybe old school Vermont Foley Brothers, which I kind of have mentioned before in some of these reviews, but it doesn't It doesn't have that candied citrus type of uh, flavor to it. it. It really sticks more to the profile of something like Treehouse or Trillium. A little bit more, um, the bitterness is starting to linger a little bit more, but I honestly don't find an issue with that or fault with it. I think it balances out the beer pretty well. Um, I'm having a hard time just <laughs> not gulping this down it's incredibly balanced so uh for me hops drop i don't know i'm, in, I'm kind of an easy 4.75 here i'm uh, leaning towards five uh this is just incredibly well done um and for without without that really intense grassy character that i do prefer out of this style it's probably the best one that i've had that doesn't actually have that um so Four seven five easy. You know, I may go to five after I drink a few of these, but excuse me. That's an easy four seven five. Just incredible, incredible effort from Spindle Tap, and I really hope that they brew this again because this is a fantastic beer. So, if you didn't luck out, or I don't, they may still have some. I actually didn't check the Facebook. Uh, if they do still have some, get it. Uh, this is awesome stuff. If not. Um, probably wouldn't be too hard to you know find some locally to try to trade for some so recommend it definitely check it out as always um guess that's it for hop drop so cheers and i will catch you guys